Ladies and gentlemen, it's that special time of the day. It's the best time of the day. You now locked and loaded with your main man, my dig, and my dog, Troy King. Pipe down and turn this up, man. Yeah. Third eye open. Focus. Yeah. Roll up my tree, just smoking. Everything potent. potent. Say what I want, no glucose, no sugar coating. Now nah. break it down. I do my history. Plus, I'm the truth and I'm super sharp mentally. Boy, I'm a god, you're not seeing me physically. Plus, I stop you. I'm talking about literally. Me and my shorty, so don't see the chemistry. chemistry. Work for what we got. Hustle hard a lot. Y'all can never take this energy. Nah. Writing on the wall, plus, I'm still a dog. Half of it, I don't let you see. Rock a koofy with the shades on, dog. Nobody coming after me. Hey. It might be an actual casualty. Do we actually need it to discuss what's going on today? Canelo just fought. I really thought it was going to be more trouble than that. We're going to see, listen, we're going to go straight to the body bag. Straight to it. We're not, waiting, we're not going to waste no time. We're not going to be talking about it. No, we're going straight to this bag. And as I noticed... Canelo, man, listen, everybody at this point, I just want to see how Canelo is going to beat people. It's the same thing with Floyd. At one point, Floyd was doing so much. I just wanted to, Floyd was so good. I just wanted to see how he was going to beat the guy. Like, what method was he going to use? What top style of defense? What? Is he going to get hit with a hard shot? How he going to respond? Like, that's all I wanted to see so I can learn. At that point, shout out to Kobe. Shout out to my man, Ron Tavius. My man, Ron Tavy, V12. We got him an Airbnb. Got him a crib. Set him up. Job. Everything. Because he wanted to come to California. So, you know, I'm married. I live with my wife. I'm setting black men up to be successful. Trying to give them, trying to introduce them to laws. So shout out to my man Ron Tavius for standing up, being a being a good man, and 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 trying to do what's right, man. Because it's hard out here. It's the quarantine. But neither less said or whatever I just said. I'm gonna look at the mic. Pause. When Canelo was in the ring, at that time, it's only a matter of time before he hurt you, stop you, and all it is. Um, I've been looking at the other blogs. Uh, they just have no idea what's going on in boxing. Um, Canelo, once you fight somebody as big as Colum Smith, ain't there is nobody in the division, whether it be... Caleb, uh, Caleb Plant or David Benavitez or Demetrius Andrade. The competition you're choosing. Demetrius Andrade is the only exception to the rule. The competition you choose to fight, let me know your skill set. The competition you choose to fight lets me know your skill set. That was twice. The third time. The competition you choose to fight lets me know your skill set. That's it. Now, if you don't understand that, you a hater. That's it's simple, bro. We're we not about to do this. We're going to keep doing it. If you don't understand that, you're a hater. That means people with extensive amateur backgrounds. People... Not just any journeyman who's been knocked out 50 times. I'm talking about a journeyman who's never been stopped and has only fought champions. Stuff like that. Like, it's levels to boxing. And if you don't understand that, you never going to understand boxing. It's the levels, man. Defense, when you master defense... The level is the sky is the limit. The universe, the sky is the universe because there is no differentiation from the universe to the ground. You, once you're standing on the ground, you're standing in the universe. That's common sense. It's nothing cutting off the sky or nothing. It's just the ionosphere or the firmament. You know what I mean? 
to keep the waters from outside of the earth from getting into the waters inside the earth. But other than that, that's how it works, bro. Listen, if you don't understand that learning how to catch punches, James Tony, Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, um, Mike McCallum, like Chris Eubank Sr., Joe Calzaghe, for real. Um, some of these fighters, man, had unorthodox, orthodox, awkward defense, man. You, listen, I want somebody in the comments to tell me how, and this, because this is not going to be a long one, tell me how a fighter is going to beat Saul Canelo Canelo Alvarez if you can't hit him ain't no one shot they gonna knock him out cause that, that's never happened how are you gonna beat him if you can't hit him what are you gonna do box him athletically that's Adrian. how Adrian Broner boxed He's an athletic boxer. Andre Ward is a technical boxer. It's completely different, people. Like, I just need y'all to understand that. Like, athletic boxing and technical boxing are two different levels of boxing, bro. And sisters. Like, Athleticism and skills are two different planes. Athleticism has to do with my flesh. Yes, there are certain pillars of athleticism that are skill-based. That you have to have a certain coordination athletically to be accurate. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I'm just saying that it's so many levels wrapped up in this, bro, that you have to understand that if you can't hit Canelo, it don't matter if you Demetrius Andrade. It don't matter if you the Charlo brothers. It don't matter who you are, David Benavitez. If you don't, you can't say David Benavitez size is going to do something because Callum Smith is 6'3". You can't say that. Demetrius Bubu Andre's athleticism is going to do something. Arislandi Lara is athletic. He fought an experienced older Shane Mosley, and he was a young, young man. He's fought Floyd Mayweather. That's athleticism at the highest level on top of skills. Like, what you need to do at this point it's just watch and learn Canelo for you wake up and miss the train. And then we go back and watch all your old videos that you was making. And all it was was hating. You just sound like a contradictory. You sound idiotic. Like you saying that the people he not fighting ain't nothing and all it is. And he need to fight this person when the person that listen, I'm not on here to play. Charlo hasn't fought Danny Jacobs or Demetrius Andrade. He can't even look at Canelo. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Triple G, Triple G doesn't need another Canelo fight until he fight Boo Boo. That's it. Triple G, Canelo is 5'8", fighting at 168. He started his career at 15 in Mexico at 135. He's a bona fide middleweight at this point. And at that point, if you don't know how to be defensively sound, you're not going to beat him. Secondly, David Benavitez has fought good competition. Yes, but he can't make weight. Listen, he's missed weight twice, 
and he's been caught on the juke, on, 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 the, on the booger sugar. Come on, bruh. Like, at the top level, when has Floyd been ever did something like that? Yes, he has legal troubles as a black man in America, but when has he actually done something to tear down his body? Like, before we even get to the fisted cuffs. Like, come on, bro. People is just not keeping it 100 on the blogs and just in general. Like, because I'm the general and I see it and I'm just, it's just it's, it's weak. So that's why I take time, see if people going to keep it 100. I know they not. So I just take my time and then just put out a blog. We ain't got to like, we ain't got to like, I don't have to put out blogs every day. You know what I mean? I, I do other things. I, I'm a trainer. Uh, I got people hitting me about coaching, taking fighters to Mexico and building them and getting them signed so they can do something for their family, bro, so they can be champions inside and out. But how are you a champion inside and out and you're following the ideologies of a group of people who are setting narratives to keep a certain fighter on a certain pedestal, and that is the the same thing I keep saying that the colonizers, that the ESPNs, that the governments are doing, and you're trying to battle them when you're already better than them. It's stupidity. So just to think that Canelo is going to lose to somebody as athletic when he's already fought in athletic fighters, he's already fought in bigger fighters than the fighters you think he can. No, it's just about getting the payday at this point. That's it. That is it. That's it. It's it. It's it. I just told you what it was. Charlos don't need no Canelo work. They never worked with Danny Jacobs. If he come to 168, he got to see Danny Jacobs. He not even... He doesn't even... Listen. As a fan of boxing it i don't even he doesn't even have the skills of canelo so to even think he stands a chance is foolishness like we talking about skill on skill not black mexican not white on this we talking about the actual skill set of a man how he defends punches not all this other clown business that everybody talking about we talking about how he catch punches how he catch them how he roll them how he in position at all times to land. How in, he, how his plan in the fight was to hit a man's arm so many times that he couldn't use the hook. That's Roy Jones stuff. Like, what is like what are y'all talking about? Jamal Charlo couldn't knock out Brandon Adams, bruh. Like, what is you talking about? What, what, I don't understand, like. You can't even put Brandon, Brandon Adams. Hey, listen, I love Brandon Adams. I watch his Instagram. One of the most athletic brothers I've ever seen in my life. He can jump rope with, the, he can, I know because I can do it all. Like. He's my high crazy athlete. He knocked out one of my homies, bro. Miguel Lopez. He knocked him out in a fight. Like, I know cousin. Like, and I don't even know cousin. But I know how good he truly is. Like, he can't do nothing with Canelo, bro. Nothing. Nothing. I don't care how black he is. Be black as a universe, bro. I love black people. I love my folks, bro. He can't do nothing with the with Sa. Saul. Now, I'm going to give you all a little bit of Egyptian history and language and etymology. Saul. Sa. It's a two-syllable word. Sa. If you know what a sa is, sa means a spiritual body. A holy spiritual body. Like... Plural would be Sahu, spiritual bodies. Asa is just one, spiritual body. 
Now, his name is Saul. Now, listen, I don't want to hear nothing else when I say what it means. I don't want you to say, I don't care if you Christian, Muslim, because I'm Muslim. But I was an Egyptian first, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, the, the man's name is Saul Ka Nello. Ka Double. K A. I know what real language is, bro. The, the tones that his name. The utterance of the tones of his name, Saul Canelo Alvarez, lets me know who he is as a person, his spirit, how he move, like, he don't be in the news. Yeah, he popped one time on Clembuterol. Yeah, he did. But now they get tested now, so like, I don't want to hear nothing about that. Because there's other fighters that have skipped out on getting VADA and, and testing and all of that. But as of right now, today, like, it's about skill on skill, bro. Like, David Benavitez, yes, he can be great. But boxing, the, they don't pay you on your potential. That That's, that's, that's. You getting drafted in the NBA because they can see the potential. But if the potential never comes to the forefront, you're a bust. Like, we don't care if you got potential. Every time you get on the scale, you not on weight. David Benavitez, my man. I'm big bro. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care about none of that. Because I'm rich in spirit. If every time you get on the scale, you don't make weight, you're not ready for Canelo. You're not taking care of your body, bro. And the quarantine, there is no excuse. Well, they didn't have saunas in the building and all of that. A vegan diet will solve all of that. A vegan diet, bro. That means watching what you eat. Watching who you hang around. Not playing with this. Not... You know what I'm saying? What what are y'all talking about? We talking about technical boxing inside and outside the ring, bro. Like, Caleb Plant, we offered you to fight twice. I'm the real Canelo right now. Hey, you trying to scrap? No, you not? Oh, okay, well, all right. We going to ask you one more time. Is you trying to scrap? No. All right, because this scrap is for your belt and the WBC. Is you trying to work or not, bro? He not trying to work. And you know who he chose to fight? He chose to fight Caleb Truox. What? He's not ready. He's not ready. He could have fought anybody but that guy. He could have asked for a washed Andre Durrell. So so they say. He could have asked for an Anthony Durrell. He could have asked for a David Benavitez to give him a shot at the belt. He could have fought Callum Smith in Unified. He didn't want to do none of that. He wants to fight Caleb Truox. I just watch fighters on zone beg for work. Hey, bro, I... Listen, you put him in there, I'm going to get him out of there. I have, hey, that's what you want to do. I'm begging, just give me these guys. If I lose, I lose. Like, what? All of this, what y'all talking, is not. that's not boxing. If you want to scrap, listen, Adrian Broner proved it. If you want to scrap, I'm going to let the fans pick. So everybody can say what they want about A.B. He could lose for the rest of his life. The fighters you choose to watch don't even do what he do. Up two weight classes and say, I'm going to fight Maidana. He the hardest puncher at welterweight. And Charlo ain't even trying to fight Boo Boo. Caleb Plant ain't trying to fight Canelo. He not trying to fight nobody in his weight class worth fighting. They got a belt. Once I get a belt, I'm only looking for belts. That's it. Second topic of the day. 
Because we done with that. That's just stupidity, bro. Stupidity. Once Canelo come to your weight class, he want the belt, bro. Oh, if you're not making weight, that ain't my problem. We don't care about your potential. I heard Ego's video was stupid. It was stupid. It was dumb. Like, I watched the whole video. And I commented every time he said something in the video, I rebuttaled it with a fact. Like, come on, bro. What are you talking about? You lost your way. You lost it. You lost your way, bro. You got confused and wrapped up with the YouTube and being like, you lost. You niggas is lost, bro. Like, you lost. That go for everybody. And if you got a problem with it, come talk to me about it. Face to face. I ain't, I ain't not trying to hear nothing else. Yeah, it's the quarantine. I don't care. Come sit down right here and talk to me about it. I'm giving anybody in the LDBC or Ego or anybody, I got a couch right here. If you want to talk and debate, I got a, another microphone you can get. Pause. We can come and talk. And we can have a debate right here. Right here. Me and you. Anybody. If you want to spar, we can get work. Soon as I find out Errol getting in a left hand camp, I'm there. My whole I got family to live in Dallas. That's the crazy part. Like when I find out Bub fighting a lefty, I'm there. I tried to get Danny. Danny didn't want the work. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You didn't want no work with me. I called your phone. I hit DSG at Gmail. I hit Saud. Your bestie, your homie, my homie, the dude Bolo 3K. I hit him. Follow Bolo 3K. He got great music from Philly. Assalamu alaikum. I hit Bobby, the Philly savior, on IG. I hit Greg Hackett. I hit everybody. Greg Hackett can vouch. He sparred me eight rounds in Philly. Like, you don't want no work, bro. Like, so people can't ask me and say I'm scared to spar these people. I spar boo boo. It's on the internet. I, I've been in camp with a mirror. Like, I've been in camps. I don't want to hear it no more. I'm not a clout chaser. Like, I don't chase clout. Like, sparring Earl for free ain't going to do nothing for me. Nothing. 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 Where that bread at? Like, what you talking about? Like, I don't want to hear nothing else about it. If I hear you talking about work, I'm going to be on your line about work. Like, y'all don't want no work. Shut up. Step, keep it 100. Or I'm going to just, every blog is going to be a bag. From now on, I'm not here to play with you. I got new new equipment. The stew good painted more. As you see, the black is taking over, bro. But it has to be right and true. It can't be no clown business. Like, we're not doing that. It's town business, not clown business. It's the city of Akron. Like, come on, bro. Like, you got to keep it 100. You're not keeping, keeping it 100. It's cap going on. Second thing, Earl Spence, bro. You my man. You got heart. But you're not showing me nothing right now, bro. I don't care. You can be mad. I done had tons of people from Dallas calling me, asking me. Me and Black Fight fan was talking. Like, I listen, bro, get some work. Get some work, bro. 60, 40, 70, 30, bro. What is you talking about? You don't want no work. Just say that. Just say, hey, bro, I ain't trying to work with cuz right now. I got other stuff I want to do. We will respect that. As the boxing fans will. I don't need your respect, bro. Like, I'm big bro again, bro. I'm 40 years old, bro. You not my age. When you was actually asking for some work for me, you was 10 years younger than me. I was a grown man, man. You was 25 years old, bro. I know you didn't know that, so I spared it. Because I'm really thuggy out here, bro. I do all things alone, bro. That's why Black Fight Fan called me. To have a one-on-one -on -one talk with me. 
He offered me many times to come down there and spar you and get paid. No, I want your money for a camp. However many weeks. So we can get some real work. Because it's not about the money actuality. It's about learning, bro. It's about an older gentleman coming, integrating himself into your camp. Because I'm a real brother. I don't, I'm not going to let you do nothing you don't want to do, even when you're not in camp. That's the problem, bro. Like, I'm a, forget boxing. We talking about well-being, swell-being, living, bro. Taking care of your body. Not going back to what you was doing ever again. Changing your whole circle completely monk mode sitting down marvin Hagler style left handers not going in a room eat sleep work boxing no drinking not one drink outside of camp vegan diet if you want to be the best you got to do the hardest work like I don't get why y'all don't understand that. That go for Earl and all these young brothers. Like, I can talk this. Like, because I walk the walk. I'm vegan. I'm Muslim. I follow the paths. I'm not here to play. Like, I waited to today to do this. Because the 21st is actually a special day. Like, it's a special day today. It's a great day today. And I waited to today. Because the stars line up. This is where the three wise men come follow, bruh. I'm just trying to help y'all, man. I'm really just trying to help y'all. And Texas is a is a Christian. Is they on Christianity tough, bruh? I'm a Christian too. That's like, y'all have to really understand what I'm saying. Once you get to a certain level, there is no segregation. Of anything. Because it's only one, bruh. That's why they tell you one yourself. Like, come on, Earl, get some work, bruh. That, my dude, uh, UGC Flame, that video he put out, I'm about to tell him from now on, you make videos like that. That's something that nobody else is doing. Listen, let me tell you what Earl Spence should have said. Like, yeah, hey, hey, I'm the big dog. You want the work, come get the work. I'm going to give you, we're going to go 50-50, and we're going to have a rematch clause. If you beat me, I'm coming back for more work. You beat me twice, it's over. You him. And I'm going to still go on and be great. That is how you be great. Not running, ducking, and hiding. Like, you said you wanted to be undisputed, he got a belt. When are you going to get it? When are you going to take it from me? When? When? Ain't nobody left. It's Pacquiao and Earl. That's it. I mean, Pacquiao, Earl, and Bud. What, what? Ain't nobody else to fight, bro. For nobody. You not trying to fight, bro. 60, 40, 70, 30. You the big dog. Man, y'all in the same pay range, man. Shut up. You not in no Canelo pay bracket. Like, what you think you talking about, bro? Why you think that we all, I know that. I know these fans don't know that. But you're not in the pay grade of Canelo. You can't get a raise like that in corporate America, bro. What are y'all talking about? This is the United States of America Incorporated. You don't get a 200% increase in salary or income in one fight, bro. What are y'all talking about? It don't even work like that. It doesn't work like that. And I don't think these young gentlemen know how it works under the constructs of a corporation, bruh. Like, you don't just go into somewhere. You're only making five million, seven million. And then the next fight, you're going to be making 20, 30 million. No, what? That's over with. To do that, you have to beat a Terrence Crawford and a Pacquiao. That's it. You ain't getting no. No, no, no. 
That's over with. It's dead. You ain't trying to get no work. It's over with. You don't want no work. See, that's what happened when Cap come out. Capcom, you playing games all day on Street Fighter instead of putting your head in a book and really learning. Capcom, it's Cap. It's Cap. It's Cap, bro. Oh, you know that fight gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You told the man, it's on my Twitter. You told the man, get a belt. When he got a belt, hey, when he beat Jeff Horn and he get a belt, then we could talk. He got a belt. Now what? What is y'all doing over there? Like, cause Keith Thurman told you to get a belt. You got a belt, you still ain't fought him. Now he don't got a belt. He don't even need a fight. He couldn't hold on. Pacquiao took his belt. He could have still been in the talks. He lost it. He couldn't stay on the path, dog. Man, listen, man. This is, y'all be capping. Y'all, it's just cap. That's all y'all do. It's all y'all do and y'all corny and y'all know it. Ain't nobody beating Canelo. It's about getting a payday. His defense is too thorough. Earl ain't trying to fight Bud. Like, that's just it. And Listen, I don't want to hear nobody say a man is not scared. Because half of y'all never even wanted to try sparring. Why? Because you don't want to get your behind whooped. That's scared. It's scary. You never tried wrestling. You never tried MMA. You never tried what you watch every day and you love it. Because you're scared. That's it. I wasn't scared. I was 27 when I started amateur boxing. I turned pro at 31, 32. Every fight that I had, I paid money to fight. I either sold tickets or paid out of my own pocket with my own currency. 700, 500, 900. I'm a true boss. I did it on my level because I wasn't scared. I don't want to hear nothing else about me sparring nobody because it's on record that I've been in there with Boo Boo. Oh, he was taking it easy. Well, that's his fault. Get me out of there. I've been in there with Mirakon. I've been in there with Cleotis Pendarfus, my man Mookie. I've been in there with middleweights, Tony Hirsch. He's fought... Sean Estrada, he's fought Boo Boo. I fought, I've sparred the bigger guys. Like, I've sparred with Carter Williams Jr. I sparred Levon Grabajava, Wolf, on the PBC. I'm not even allowed for real back over there where Virgil and them be training. They don't call me for no more work. Like, I've been in mad camps. I don't want to hear it. I get work. Me, Troy. Hey, don't ever hit my line or on my chat talking about I'm scared to spar somebody for free. You sound stupid. Because soon as I ask you for some work, are you going to spar what I want you to spar? Because if I get in there with somebody and I can't handle it, hey, bro, I'm not in shape. I give you a six-piece. Come on, bro, what is we talking about? It's sparring. Now, if you paying me for a camp and you want 12 out of me, you got to pay for that. You got to pay for that. Y'all don't even understand that. You pay for the look. You pay for the look. If you don't have money to pay for that look, that's you getting whooped. I've been in camps before. Amir Khan was giving me $400 a week, $350 a week. That ain't no money. I'm not giving you no real look. I'm here to walk you down and beat you brutally every day. They got the footage. Put it out. Put the footage out. They ain't going to never put it out. They got footage. I don't even know, but they might have footage of me sparring Amari, a, a young kid, Amari, the number one amateur. Put the footage out. You got it. You can watch me walking you down, hitting you with right hands, playing with you. Talking about you're not nothing for me to work with. And we did three five-minuters. 
And I was like, bro, I don't even want to spar you no more. Spar my little homie. Like, and my little homie almost stopped you. Mark Sean Fields. Like, come on, bro. Like, I listen, I know what be going on in these gyms for real. So, you look young guys out here, if you won't work with me, bro, come, just ask me. I'm going to give you work. I had a detached retina, but I still get work. I wear a bar. I wear a Cleto Reyes, bro. This is my head gear right here. Look, I'm going to show y'all because y'all think stuff is it's not a joke. Like, this is my head gear right here. This is my head. I wear pink. Yeah, because I'm swaggy like that. These my gloves. I got old school gloves. Look, look at this glove. Y'all don't even know where to get gloves like this. Look at this. That's real leather, bro. I'm on a, listen, that's a attached thumb. Look, look at that. That's the old school glove. I'm not even going to show y'all where I got these at. Because that's real leather, bro. Look at that. They got the, that's a sparring glove. 16 ounces, bro. Look, like, listen, when you want work with me, all you got to do is ask. I'm going to give you some work. I might give you four rounds the first day, come back, give you the next time, give you six. I'm going to get better as the time keep going, bro, because I really do this. But be careful what you ask for. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Hey, hey, be careful. It's not what you think. I'm trying to tell you. It's just not what you think. It's not. Like, you got to remember, I'm vegan. I started boxing at 27. Like, come on, bro. Y'all seen some of the footage. It's on the YouTube. Just look it up, bro. I did MMA too. Like, I'm trying to tell you. I did MMA also. Troy King, nine second knockout. It's, it's, it's on YouTube. Like, I've been in the cage too, bro. I can wrestle. I can do jujitsu. I kick your head off. Like, I'm just trying to tell you. Know something before you just hop out the window. That's it for today, man. That's it. I got other stuff to do today. The three wise men. Remember that. The three wise men. Learn who they really are and learn who they really follow. Today is a great day. Because at, in the next three days, after or the next four days, you know what I mean? Like, it's Christmas. You know what I mean? It's, it's going down. 22nd, 23rd, 24th. That's three days. Then it's Christmas. Today is good, man. It's a good day. Alhamdulillah. You know, praise to the Most High, the Creator of all. Shout out to the, the energy of the Creator. Shout out to His firstborn. Shout out to the firstborn child. That's, that's bars. Because that's, that's Egyptian. That's just telling you. Like, I know it sounds like something else. I know it do. Listen, don't hate. And I want to say this. I meant everything I said respectfully. No malicious intent. I meant everything I said respectfully. Like, don't ever take the energy like it's. But but I am like that though. Like, but don't ever take the energy the wrong way. Like, respectfully, because I just won't write. Like, I watch a man go from having the most swagged out platform to just doing clown stuff. Like, for what? For what? Views and people and say, man, what? That's Listen, I chose to box. Boxing didn't make me. I chose to box. Boxing would have never made me. Listen, y'all, listen, before I was boxing, I was doing this. Do you see that? I, I really shoot like that. My elbow be tucked, 90 degree angle. I Yeah. I played football. I had a dance group. Like, it don't matter, bro. I will always been in the eye of the public. Like, that's just, that's what, I'm a Leo. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. But I will say that everything comes with humility and you got to have balance. And like I said, I watch a man from having the, a man having a swagged out platform 
to just being a clown, like a clown, bro. So don't ask me why you don't see me with people no more. If you don't see me with somebody, it's because they chose to be a clown. I stand up and I and I do everything that I can do, that I do. I do everything that I do in the past, dog. So ain't nobody you gonna find gonna question my character. Nobody. And if they come, they capping, and then I'ma have the right to slap their face off. And that's it. Ain't no man gonna ever tell you I maliciously did nothing to him crazy. Cause I, 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 I my, my, hey, bro, my mama didn't raise me like that. You be real. Number rule number one: don't ever get hustled. Rule number two: you come back without fighting, that's on you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a whoop you. So hey, y'all already know the rules, bro. Like, so I don't wanna hear it no more. I'm done. Like. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to hear it. Don't nobody want no work. This is just keeping a bunch of hoopla. Let's talk about the fighters who want to get work. Don't hate. Show love. Comment. Subscribe. Share. Last but not least, pick up a plant. Eat it. Not a domestic plant you will use to breathe. But they are edible if you learn how to use them. Because anything you go in your body is edible. Pause. Like when you, that's air. You swallow air, you burp. Like the air is going in. My lungs is eating the air. Like, come on, bro. It's just common sense. You eat food, like food for thought. Like everything has to be vegan. It has to be plant-based. Photosynthesis. It has to harness the sun. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And, I, and that's it for today. I want to bless everybody. It's a good day. It's Christmas is coming up. It's a holy day. 3.14. It's a holiday or a holy day. Three wise men, bro. Three. It's a triangulum constellation. It's a triangulum constellation. We out one.